the West Catholic League is being dominated by St. Francis this season with four teams now fighting it out for second place. Two of those teams, Mitty and Bellarmine, meeting this week. Mitch Newman and James Rogers with the longest handshake ever. This thing went on for hours. Tight first half with not much scoring. Riley Grigsby, an outstanding sophomore for the Monarchs, spins and hits the floater. The Bells' Jake Wojcik was about to have a game. Jake gets one of his two first quarter threes right there, but lots of defense in the first half. Grigsby sending it right at us. That is a block shot. Game tied at 15 all in the third. Grigsby for three, and Riley gives Mitty a three-point lead. Then Grigsby in transition to Mike Diaz. Can we get this guy on the football team? Nobody died, so no foul, and Diaz ends up with two. And then Kyle Peterson gets hot. Nailing a long three here. Mitty leads by as much as seven late. But this guy, Wojcik, had an answer every time. Jake slithers free and nails the long jumper. The Bells lead by one. Five minutes to play. Here's Peterson again and again. Kyle hits to put Mitty back on top. Bells down by two. Clock winding down and Angelo Athens comes up huge as he calmly hits the short jumper to tie the game. They put 1.7 back on the clock. Mitty with a chance to win, but Grigsby's half-court shot is up. Oh, so close, but no, and we go to overtime. In the OT, Mitty leads by as much as five. Peterson with a long two. Bells down by four. One minute to play. It's Athens again coming up huge to bring the Bells within one. Final seconds now. The Bells still down by one as Wojcik. Pop fake, draws the foul. Jake hits both free throws. The Bells up by one. Mitty's last second shot is blocked. And Bellarmine celebrates a thrilling overtime win. The Bell Boys loving it. Both teams 5-4 and four now in league. After this one, Wojcik leading the Bellarmine Bells to victory with 24.